Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys how to create your own app icons and which apps I recommend for that. There are a bunch of different app icon packs that you can buy online. I have a set that you can also download for free, um, but there are so many out there. But if you want to make your own with your own unique style and taste, I'm going to share with you guys how to do that in today's video. So on my screen right now, you will see I have different apps. The app we're going to be using for this is called Canva. Now you can use any other apps. Canva is just really nice because of one feature that I'm going to be mentioning later. Um, but yeah, Canva I do recommend mostly. It is a free app. There are some things you need to pay for, but overall it is a free app and you can do a lot with the free version. So how are you going to do this is we're going to go into Canva. I do have Canva Pro or Premium, whatever you want to call it. But like I said, I'm going to be sharing with you guys. If you don't have any of the paid um, versions of Canva, I'm just going to be sharing with you guys how to do this, even if you have the free version. So we're just going to create a new design. I'm just going to click on this plus button here. And then I'm going to go ahead and choose um, the Instagram post one. It just has to be a square, basically. And here we have our blank canvas that we're going to work on. So the first thing you need to do is decide what you want for your background of your icon. If you want a photo um, or if you just want a color, you have to decide that first. So if you just want a color, you can just tap on your canvas anywhere, go to color and then select the color that you want. So for instance, if I want this green color, I'm just going to go ahead and choose that. Um, and then we're going to start with our app icon. Now if you want an image for your background, all you need to do is click on this plus button here, go here to uploads, and this is where all your uploads are going to live that you've uploaded to the app. So you can just click on upload media and upload that image that you have for your background um, right here on the app. Now if you don't have an image already, you can also go to photos here and search any background that you want. So if I'm gonna search for flowers, maybe, you can see they have a bunch of images here that you can use um, as your background. Some of them, if they have this crown icon, which says pro, you can't use it on the free version, but all the others are free to use on your design. Um, so you can go to photos there and find something that you're looking for as well. As you can see, they have a bunch you can choose from. Um, but yeah, so that's your options for a background. You can you just use a solid color, you can use a photo from your photo library and upload it to the app or you can use the photos feature that Canva does have. Now the reason that I prefer Canva for this is because of their elements section. So if we go to the plus button here and you go to elements, this is this one here, you'll see they have a bunch of things here as well, but then you can search anything. So I'm going to search for an Instagram logo and this is what pops up. So as you can see, they have such a wide variety of logos for your apps um, and some of them you can change the color of. So um, I can go with this one here and as you can see, it has a color feature. So this one is black, but if I don't want it black, I want it white. I can just go to color and change that to say this. And then that is why app icon then I'm just going to resize it a bit so it's a bit bigger and then you're good to go then you've created your app icon um like I said they have different variations of um different logos for Instagram for instance or if you have any other apps and also if they don't have the app that you're looking for um, then you can always just go to your web browser so I'm going to go to Safari and then you can just search the logo on there so um, for instance I'm just going to go with Instagram again Instagram then you just search logo PNG so PNG means it has a transparent background um, so that's going to help with the no white background so then you can just go through here and find the one that you like so for instance this one here is a PNG because it has this checkered background um, just so that you know if you have it in this view and it has a checkered background it does not have a png when you download it but if it has a white background on this view and you go in and it has a checkered background then it's a real png otherwise you're just going to have that as a background so just make sure you have that also um, in mind when finding a right logo and then once you have the logo that you want you can just long press on the image and select add to photos and then you can go to Canva and upload that here as well. Another step I have for you guys is creating all your app icons and then just downloading them instead of like making one and then saving it, one and saving it. So you can just go ahead and go to your um, designs here and then you can just add another one or you can just go ahead and duplicate your current design. Um, so then you have all the right backgrounds and everything and then you can maybe 
um, just add in the next um, logo. So I'm just gonna search for Twitter. And as you can see, again, wide variety. Um, and some of them you can change the color of the icon. Going to this view here is also helpful to see if they're all the kind of the same size, because you don't want one logo for your app icon to be this big and then one to be small. You want them to generally have the same size so it doesn't look out of place. Um, but yeah, that is how you create your app icons on Canva. Once you're done with your designs, you can just go ahead into the export page, um, click on download, and then you can just select PNG, which is the one I would recommend you export it in. You can adjust the size and everything. You can adjust if you wanna export all the pages that you've created or just one, um, all that. And then you can click on download and then it will save it to your camera roll. And once you're done with that, you can go ahead and create your custom app icon. I'm just gonna quickly go through how you do that. I'm gonna to go to shortcuts. It's this app on your iPhone. As you can see, I already have all my apps on here, but I'm just gonna share with you guys quickly how to do this. So you click on the plus button here, and then you'll see here, um, it does give a suggestion open app, but if it doesn't give that suggestion, just search here in the search menu, open app, and then it will appear here. But I'm just gonna click on the suggestion, and then um, where it says app, tap on that and select the app that you want. So I'm just gonna search for Instagram here. Okay, and once you're happy with that, you're gonna click on the settings menu, click on add to home screen, and then just name your shortcut. So I'm gonna name it Instagram. You can just type in the app as it is, or you can add maybe like a space between it to make it look a bit more aesthetic. I don't know, um, just to do whatever you want for the naming of this. And then in order to change the icon, you just click on this little icon here, click on choose photo, and then we'll take you to your photo library and then choose the right photo that you created. Click choose and click on add. And then it's added to my home screen. It's really as easy as that. Then you've created your own custom app icon um, and it's right there on your screen. So yeah, that is how you create your own app icons on iPhone. Um, like I said, you can use any app. You don't have to use Canva. I just recommend it because it has a bunch of resources on it already. Um, it's easy to find the logo that you're looking for. So yeah, that was my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen. Leave a comment down below if you have any other suggestions for ways to create your own app icons. If you have anything better that you would recommend um, people do, definitely leave that in the comments down below. Click on the playlist to see all of my other customization related videos for iPhone and click on the video to see my previously uploaded video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!